So because of that stabbing incident, uh, they kind of cut some of the promotion of your album and so forth. And I think I remember uh, like people were taking some of your features off songs and, and everything else like that. I think Lil Scrappy had to take a, you know, um, you know, your verse off his song because yeah. people weren't trying to play it or, or something. And it was it was a lot of drama around. It was, man. It was just a lot of things where individuals didn't expect for me to actually, I think, beat the case or what or whatnot. So they started finding ways to work records and shit with, around me, kind of anticipating me on going to prison and shit and everything else. Uh, so yeah. yeah, I dealt with a few things like that where you had a few artists that was, uh, you know, uh, pulling me from different records. And also uh, that was around the time where the game separation started to happen right around that time as well. Right, because right afterwards the game drops documentary mm -hmm. and as he's promoting the album and running around New York. And I remember I just literally was with him mm -hmm. during those days. And this one day that I was supposed to hang out with them and, and film and whatever, I ended up not making it for whatever reason. Uh, 50 Cent does an interview on Hot 97. And I think Flex asked, uh, you know, what was Game's role in G Unit? And he said, there's no role at all. He's kicked out. Yeah. Uh, Game and his crew were literally, I think, down the street or, or nearby in New York. They go and approach Hot 97 to talk to 50. 50 security was in front, and they end up opening fire uh, on the crew. Uh, one of Game's friends got shot, I think, in the leg or something. Yeah. Uh, New Jersey Devil, who I knew, who was sort of my guy in that group, yeah. he got grazed. And uh, at that point, you know, Game and G-Unit were completely over. It was done. And you just yeah. basically explained the situation. Uh, you know, I, to this day, I, I kind of forget and don't really know exactly why 50's reasonings was for kicking game or, or whatever out of G-Unit at that time. But yeah, I, I don't know if game now had pulled up with whatever approach they was because we were actually still upstairs in the radio station. And then when shit. Oh, oh, you you were there when Fifty actually announced the game is kicked out. Yeah, down. man, we were in the radio station. Okay, so when you heard that, were you like, "Oh shit, well, where did this come from?" Or was it like, "Okay, I knew this was gonna happen." I did not know it was gonna happen. Mm. I didn't. You know, I was just like, "Whoa, shit!" And then it was one of them things where, like you said, Game was in town, so Game immediately pulled up. I guess for whatever reason. And shit jumped off the way where it jumped off. And from there, uh, that's when the whole separation of game and G-Unit started to come about. He started to create these disc records. We started to create disc records. My loyalty was to G-Unit and to 50. And, uh, you know, game's approach was fuck all y'all, I think, <laughs> at that point. You know what I'm saying? Especially bullets and shit had started flying and motherfuckers that got hit and shit like that. So, you know, that's what kind of started off the whole separation of the crew from the very beginning of that. I, I kind of think 50, you know, had a problem in regards to the business of what was going on with the game and his situation where they resolved around 50 Dre and Jimmy or whatever the case. I, I just couldn't tell you, honestly. 